Okay, hi everyone. It's the ITNO here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Young Thug album or compilation, I guess. Slime Language. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm speaking that slime language. Um, okay. In conjunction with Stoner Life Records, this is the latest commercial album from Trap Trailblazer, Young Thug. The chances of Thugger going completely quiet without a brand new commercial record in 2018 were pretty slim, but Slime Language still felt like a relative surprise. With its kind of sudden release, it stirred a lot of excitement, and for good reason. Young Thug has been on a bit of an adventurous streak lately. With projects like his partially acoustic and guitar-driven Beautiful Thugger Girls, also his banger-filled EP with Carnage Young Martha, also his collaborative mixtape with Future, but Slime Language goes back instead to the predictable and vocally dynamic trap balladry of previous projects like Slime Season 1, 2, and 3, which is still a relatively strong hand for Thugger to play, because even after several years of inspiring countless copycats and expanding the vocal landscape, of auto-crooning, Young Thug still sounds one of a kind, he still sticks out, he still sounds like a freak of nature. And on this new project, he seems oddly comfortable with inviting lesser rappers onto his songs who are obviously following in his footsteps, and carry way less weight vocally and just kind of sound like boring biters. Talking about guys like Duke, who sounds like he could be an auxiliary member of the Migos, uh, also Gunna. I've commented on his vocal likeness to Young Thug before, and him and Duke are even featured on Young Thug's uh, YSL label imprint, so I guess that's partially a reason why he's motivated to feature both of them so prominently on this project. But typically both of their features across this record are really unnecessary and they usually weigh whatever track that they're on down. Jacques, however, I thought had the goofiest appearance on the entire project, and another completely unspectacular voice on this record has to be Lil Baby, whose continued popularity just boggles my mind, as he's maybe one of the most nondescript rappers out there right now. I can't even recall anything that he did on that quality control tape, and I reviewed the goddamn thing. There are a few newer voices on Slime Language that do steal the show, like Carlay, who is actually a young thug's girlfriend. She kills the hook on the track You Ain't Slime Enough. These bitches ain't slime enough. <laughs> She has a really expressive voice, a super sticky refrain. Of course, her voice is slathered in auto-tune. And Little Keed's very expressive and boyish and maybe overly emotional voice on the hook to the song Going Up goes over really well, too. I'm also super surprised to hear Thugger's sisters on this record as well, under the names Hydora and Dolly, who both kind of steal the show on one of the final tracks of the project. There are some pretty good and familiar things going on with some of the songs on this project. Young Thug's Yelpy and bird-like vocals bang out some really sharp and sticky hooks on a handful of cuts, like on Dirty Shoes and Chanel and uh, January 1st, or a January the first. The beats generally on this project are kind of smooth and glamorous and a little atmospheric. Very pretty, but I find a lot of the beats on this thing to be kind of nondescript. I mean, they're, they're definitely instrumentals that Young Thug sounds good over and, and instrumentals that I think typically would be found on a Young Thug project, but that doesn't help the fact that uh, they still sound pretty basic and formulaic. And overall, Slime Language, it's it's pretty one-dimensional and loaded with filler. Like with some of his least interesting projects, a lot of Thugger's vocalizations just feel really off the cuff, kind of effortless too. There are also very few lyrical quotables to speak of across this record. Unfortunately, Thugger just does not take as many instrumental and vocal risks on this record as he has in the past, especially when compared to a record like Jeffrey. And even when he does do something a little unorthodox with his voice, it's not necessarily to the benefit of the song, like on the song Oh Yeah, where his voice is slathered in these really obnoxious autotune effects. I mean, there's quite a bit of autotune on this record, but I don't know what it is about this one particular song where the autotune is particularly grating. Then there's also the song Audemar, where he kicks off the track and, and also uh, repeats this voice a few different times across the song, where he's, he's kind of just like squawking like a bird. I know I likened his voice to a bird earlier on the record, but he's literally doing like this... And it's... Uh, uh, 
it's something. On the 15 tracks of this record, there is very little here that is legitimately exciting, memorable, worth revisiting. Yet another quantity over quality project from Thugger, I guess I just thank God that it's under an hour in length. But still, the number of projects Jeffrey has of this style are stacking up. I still do appreciate his one-of-a-kind voice and delivery, but yet again, I don't think it is enough to carry an entire album. There needs to be some kind of songwriting substance there, uh, and yet there just continues to, to not be. But Young Thug seems to be doing fine, doing things as he's doing them, so... But However, it would be nice to hear Thugger drop another project where he's not just falling back on predictable production and low effort vocal riffing for two or three minutes at a time. Not to mention filling out a run of these songs with totally boring, generic, and uninteresting guests who don't really bring much to the table vocally or lyrically. Unfortunately, despite the fact that Thugger is one of the most unique and innovative voices in this auto-crooner trap ballad field, this is a painfully average record in this particular style, which in a weird way I think says a lot about the state of this trend. I'm feeling a strong 4 to a light 5 on this thing. Tran, Zishin, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Young Thug, forever.